Hi everybody, welcome. Today we're at Universal Studios Orlando and this is an update video. We've yep. got a new store, we've got new mask stuff, we've got new social distancing stuff, the hotel information. So uh, let's go inside, have a little fun and learn about what's new here at Universal. I'm excited. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> The first big thing that has changed in the past couple weeks, the first thing that started it all, was no more temp checks. Nope. A couple weeks ago, that was gone. And then... Well, I mean, they should have kept it around because this one right here was like, I think it three degrees. I'm so done with you. So <laughs> and then, once they said no more temp checks, it was just like a ball. Um, first they said, you know, no mats outdoors. Yeah. And then they said social distancing going from six feet to three feet. And then in the past couple days, they just said, you know, no masks at all for vaccinated people, yeah. indoors or outdoors. And they don't, they can't ask you for proof of vaccination. So it really means it's just a free for all here. There's no more masks. It's an honor system. Really. Yeah, it's an honor <laughs> system, and you can choose to wear a mask if you want to. So another new update. Bible's Playland water area is back open. They've mm -hmm. repainted it, they did repairs, oh, they've got the water going. I guess there is a wait time to get in. Right now it's five minutes, so that way there are not too many kids running at one time. But it's back open, so your kids have a cool place to cool off. And I'm a big kid at heart, so I mean, technically I count. Uh, no. Yeah. This is a kid's area. And I'm a kid at heart. <laughs> Alright, so the water slide is also open. You get in a tube, go down the slide the whole area is just reopened so mm -hmm. this is exciting news for your little kids a uh, curious george play area still closed but at least this one's open now so yeah oh look how fresh this grass is what oh you're loving that grass out fake oh, grass this fake grass i mean real grass what are you talking about mm -hmm. what something else that's new here at universal um only on the universal studio side though is the booths some of the booths that were for Mardi Gras, they've just switched them over and now there's summer food booths. So, new menus, new items, uh, new little tables to sit at or stand at while you're eating. Wait, is this a table? Yeah. Oh. That's a big area to just get some shade and get something to eat. I guess Universal decided that they were making pretty good money on their food booths, so. All right. They finally found out what Epcot is all about. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, so in celebration of the new Velocicoaster that's opening, mm -hmm. we have a Jurassic World store, tribute store. You'll know this store from Mardi Gras tribute store, Halloween Horror Nights tribute store. I think the most anticipated is always the uh, Halloween Horror Nights. Uh, oh my gosh, store. this year's gonna be nuts. Oh, Since I'm, last year was canceled, basically. So. Oh, I'm gonna be on the lookout for all that exclusive merch. Yes. That we, we went on a trip. And while we were on a trip, they came out with these cool what, vinyl discs. The red vinyl. We were in Destin, Florida, visiting some friends and family. And I was like, no. <laughs> we, we live here, so we would have rushed right over, but we yeah. were just out of town. So Yeah, I heard they actually sold out. They didn't put a limit on it at the time, so people were just like buying them they up. They sold out in hours. So. All right, let's go in here. Let's see if there's any exclusive merch and uh, give you a little tour around the new store. Yeah. It's a backpack. What? <laughs> that one is a bubble wand. Of course, you gotta get the bubble wand. Uh oh, it's nap time. The bubbly one. The bubbly bubbly. Oh, and a pop. 
Oh, this is the Indoraptor. Ooh. Oh, is this? That'd be cool if this like was the actual vehicles. Oh, the actual ride vehicles. Yeah, <laughs> they're just telling us like this is the ride queue right now. I mean, maybe it is. We don't know. No. Nah. Never know. <laughs> They have Jurassic World Uno. Heck yeah! Is that a planner? Thirteen bucks. Is this a planner? It looks like it. It looks like. I think it's just a journal. It's a field journal. Yeah, it's just a field journal. Yeah. So they've got the wax molds here. This one is the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Melts the wax in there, it goes and then it spits it out. I love this. Look at this. Life finds a way. <laughs> Free the dinosaurs. <laughs> Alright, what do you think of the control room? The control room is pretty cool. I wish I could sit in one of these chairs. I do too. They have the chairs like <laughs> screwed in. You can't pull them out. Oop, don't even try it. Oh, they have all the cool statues. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. This guy is $225. And get the skeleton for the same price. And get this statue for the same price. This one's only $45. I kind of like that. Yeah, I like that one. Let's see who's in the next room. Oh, they have the, the velociraptor noises. Oh my gosh, and it looks like they broke out of this. And there's very creepy music in here, and I love this room. I love this hat. This is the creepiest room and I love it. I love dinosaurs. <laughs> she likes all the creepy stuff. Yeah. Oh, sorry for that lighting. That's some weird lighting. But yeah, it's got claw marks. And this one's like, oh, are they black light? Oh, they react in the black light. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so these thermoses are really cool, but they do not keep your water cold at all. They're really cool though. Look at these signs. Raptor Chaser, Mountain Encounter. Oh, that candle company, the Magic Candle Company came out with Artisaur Cove, Triceratops Trail, Pack Hunt, <laughs> East Dock, uh, Sorna Redwood, Primeval Jungle. It smells like cinnamon, you won't like that. Churro. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's honestly it smells like a churro. Alright, All right, let's go into the uh, third room. This is a idea. Ah! <laughs> oh, wow, these old posters are cool. <laughs> okay, so this is the laboratory. Well, it looks like it's been taken over by the jungle for sure. It's a dino DNA. 25 bucks. I like that. The other one popped out. All right, see? What even is this? I honestly don't know, but. It's a recorder. Yeah. They, pop out like they pulled it out of some warehouse and was like, you know what? This looks like it belongs here. But this is for instruments, so it does not belong here. <laughs> Got Mr. DNA fanny pack. 26 bucks. Okay, so this is definitely after the jungle has taken over the laboratory. Velociraptor eggs were actually used on screen. Oh, and here's another bingo dino DNA. Six bucks, you can get your own long neck.
And it looks like you have a little thing here to feed them. <laughs> like at the petting zoos. Oh, this is Gallimimus dino chow. Ankylosaurus. Dietary enhancer. So this is where the dinos get their food. And then we also have food for humans too. What would you like today? I don't know. We've never been in here before. Oh, yes. Welcome okay. to our Jurassic World treat store. We have lots of treats, sweet treats, cupcakes, cookies, cupcakes. Oh my gosh. So. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm not going to try the Oreo cookie. The Oreo cookie? Yeah. What does the lava flow fudge taste like? Uh, to be honest, I haven't had that one. Okay. Um, but it's especially made for here, so it's unique. I'm just gonna have some of the cookie. <laughs> some of the cookie? Yeah, that's, that's a huge cookie. That's slightly bigger than the actual cookie. Oh no, you have to be careful. There you go. Thank you so much. Wait, are these edible? Chocolate egg is 18 bucks. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, there's dinos inside. What? Wow, that's a huge egg. <laughs> Ooh, look at this. So this Camp Cretaceous is a show on Netflix and it's a cartoon. And I honestly thought, you know, oh, it's just a cartoon for kids. But then I got addicted and sucked in. And I think I must have this. I love this. Oh, it's so perfect. I'm just... <laughs> So we're gonna wait in line and pay for ourselves. This store is awesome. It is. Oh look, the cookie even like the it's cookie. almost as big as this. <laughs> Here, here's my hand. Well, I have giant hands, so that it just it's a, it's as big as my it's two of my hands probably. Yes. You you can't even hide it underneath your hands. <laughs> look, a good cookie. Right across from the Rip Ride Rocket roller coaster. <laughs> I was trying to do the squeeze test, you know, to see how soft it was, but it, but it wasn't. The yeah, outside's hard, but the inside's still pretty mm -hmm. good. Yeah, it's, it's still a pretty soft cookie, though. Yeah. Big, huge, delicious cookie. I mean, I hope everything else is just as good as that, but I think we may have found a winner on our first try. Yeah. This is sweet. Look, we only got through, what is that, like half? Yeah. Uh, half. Half. I can't eat anymore. <laughs> Too much sugar. I think a family of like four will be able to sleep yeah. this just fine. That'll be a nice snack for four people. A little dessert snack. Yeah. 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 Get a slice of cookie. Yeah. We also want to let you know about a new rule on the mummy. It's happened to us twice now. Um, if you have a hat, usually we stick our hand through the little loop in the back and just, you know, hold it. They said you have to tuck it in your shirt now. Um, it's a little weird trying to ride a ride while holding down your shirt with your hat underneath, so uh, you might want to leave your hat in the locker. I'm assuming either way too many hats flew off on a ride, yeah. or people found ways to record the ride through their hat. Through their hat, yeah. <laughs> I, I, mean, don't, they, I don't know They probably photos. just got tired of <laughs> yeah. stopping the ride because of the hat lost in the ride. Yeah, like wow. that, don't follow the time, we just our assumption. Yeah. yeah. They are seating every single row now. Mm -hmm every single ride, including the train, the Hogwarts train. Uh, you're in the cabin with other people for the first time since last March. So get ready to- uh, Get to know everybody Get again. to know everybody. And please wear deodorants. Be please friendly. take a shower, wear deodorant. The pool does not count. You have to take a shower and wear deodorant. <laughs> Isn't that, you know what they say in the Minions ride? And Gru says, and you can't just jump in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised you remember that. <laughs> <laughs> the hotels are all reopened except for Aventura, but it reopens in like a week, two weeks. On June 16th, 2021, Aventura will reopen and then all of Universal's hotels will be reopened. There's still no daily housekeeping right now, but this should be coming back pretty soon. 
<laughs> no housekeeping. <laughs> Listen, that's one of the biggest reasons I go to hotels is so that I don't have to make my bed. Yes, yeah, and like I'm not a trashy person. I don't leave stuff everywhere, but I like someone to come in after me and make my bed. I love my room service. So yes. Also, do some research on room service. If you're a room service person, call some, your hotel. Yes. Yeah. Some places have it. Some places don't do it. Definitely call your hotel. Make sure they have all the amenities you want. I know a lot of business centers are still closed. A lot of the arcades are still closed. But as of June 16th, every single hotel on Universal property will be open. We're travel agents, so we have access to all kinds of good deals. If you want to plan your next trip to Universal, Disney World, anywhere in Orlando, specialize in Orlando, let us know. Send us an email. The Thank Scream you. of Terror. <laughs> oh. Thank you so much for checking with us, and we'll see you real soon. Bye! Bye. Subscribe! Subscribe! <laughs>